Alrighty, welcome back. We're we're at it again. Uh, what what's going on right at the present moment is uh, the tail light or the tail light box. I've got got it completed. Uh, I pulled it back out, made pulled the corners out a little bit. I butt welded them, made it look a little nicer. I kind of slapped it together quite quick yesterday. But what I've got it I've got it sheared off now, so it's close to fitting. I just figured that for us to show you us welding that in there is not something you probably want to see. But I did weld all the way around the box. I did not just spot weld it. I welded all the way around the whole thing, polished it off with the grinder, and made it look nice, just as nice as the underneath. Because when I looked underneath, the under, <laughs> you know, it's all painted underneath there, nice and pretty and pink. And uh, I could not put a box underneath there with spot, spot, spot. Couldn't do that. So I welded it all the way around, ground it all off so it all looks nice. And now we got it sheared off there. And basically, what's got to go on now? Is we're gonna have to we're gonna weld that in there. It's a good welding project for Jolene, just like she did the roof. She did an amazing job on that. But we need to weld that all the way along there, and uh, that's gonna be on our own time. But what I did is I took it all out and welded. You can see I welded it all the way along because you can tell that it's burnt all the way inside. If you want underneath, you can see it looks really nice. Uh, but basically, what's going on today is I know that I'm gonna I need a, I, I got the back window figured out. That's flat glass. I can cut that out of safety glass. Or I can make my own, like I said. But basically, right now I've got this. I've got this template in here for the window. I need an oven. I don't feel like running anywhere and asking if I can use the oven to do it. So I asked Jolene, "Can I have the barbecue down on the doorstep?" She said, "Go for it. If you need it, go for it." So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an oven out of this. I started taking the top off it. I got the the temperature temperature gauge right there I took that out of it because I'm going to put it back in there but what I plan on doing is I got the top taken off so just take I'm just took the top off I'm going to set that over here uh, it's got three burners in it <clears throat> all this stuff I'm just going to I'm just going to junk it I guess just going to junk it so what I plan on doing is is I plan on making a making a um, what can I say? I'm going to make my own oven to heat my own glass to build my own windshield. And uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the barbecue. The barbecue, you know, it still works, obviously. It's got three burners in it. But what I'm thinking about doing is, is making a case for the top of it. It needs to be, needs to be, uh, right there. The window laid out flat. Need to know that because I need to lay the Pepsi glass in there flat. We need at least six feet. We need at least six feet. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top of this off. I'm going to get this off, cut that off the best I can. We've got three burners. I'm going to leave this here, leave this here. I'm going to extend it to make it six feet. I'm going to build it up and put a cover on top of it. Um, I plan on, I don't know if sure if I'll use plywood around there or what I'll use. But I'll finish the, the bottom off of metal here, finish the bottom off of metal here. Um, and we'll square it up, stand it up, put sides and front and back on it. I'll probably have to weld a rack or some kind of something to the windshield or the window piece here. So it sits in there nice and flat. And basically what I'm going to do is put a cover on it. Hope I'll probably have to put a couple fans in it. I'm just thinking as I'm going, I'm talking out loud and explain to you what I'm thinking as I'm going. Um, I'd have to have a couple fans in to move the heat around, I'm thinking, because I wouldn't want just the heat coming in the front. You know, I have to have a fan over here or a fan over here or something just to keep the heat all the way around. This is this will be my temperature gauge like anything else. I'll just drill a hole in whatever the top is, slide that down in there. should tell me the temperature so I can regulate it. And that's basically what I'm going to do. So let's 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 build the, the cage of it, and then I'll probably run and go get some plywood and, and plywood it up. I'm not sure if I have to insulate it or not for on the outside or what I'm going to have to do. But first, I have to get a cage to hold the window and the plexiglass and get this thing up to 250 degrees. Like I said, 250 for two hours, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So basically, right now. I've got the cover off. I took all the stuff off. Uh, I know it works because we tried it with the with the tank on it, and I'm just gonna basically do it on the fly, like I always do. Show you what I'm gonna do. Went up up to the Lori Laytons and got some 
angle iron, and the angle iron was cheaper than any, anything else, so that's what I went with. So basically what I'm thinking is, that's what I'm thinking, and if I'm, I'm gonna put that on there, get myself six feet, run myself six feet, center it, weld that on there, here we go. I'm thinking out loud I am. You have to do that sometimes, you know, if you're building something, think out loud, talk to yourself, I talk to myself all the time, tell myself exactly what I got to do, get a pair of glasses, I'm right here, I'm just going to move this back for a second, so I'm taking a barbecue and, and I'm going to make myself an oven to make a window, and what, what can I say, I'm going to, you know, I'm doing it because I need it, and I'm going to make it. So right now, it hasn't cost me a thing. The barbecue's an old barbecue. Um, it hasn't cost me anything. I'll probably end up having to get a new one. Then it'll cost me, won't it? So we got six feet. And I'm thinking it's going to work. I hope it works. We'll see, and I'll see. I need two of them. I'll need, actually probably I'll need four of them to be honest with you. Two for the two for the bottom, two for the top. The angle iron was a little cheaper, so I went for it. I'm thinking that the, the angle iron will be nice because my plywood can set in there and I can screw it from that side. That's, what, that's all I'm thinking. So I got my barbecue right there, obviously. It works. And I was thinking about, you know, if I just turned it on in the center, the, the heat in the center, that wouldn't be, wouldn't be that good if I just had heat in the center of it. So I'm going like, to have to have a fan on there to make it like a conventional oven, I guess. <laughs> Need some ground. Actually, I'll ground it on the other side. Probably be a lot easier. This one here has come loose from wagging it around, so I'm going to fix that right at the present moment. Fix that. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia right now. I'll tell you what else is beautiful. My sweet little darling Jolene. Yes, she is. She's my queen. Jolene, she's my queen. Sometimes she has to get me motivated and, you know, let me know that, you know, get her done, man. Let's, let's get on with this content. Let's get her done. Don't you, baby? Uh, helps me out. I'm just going to tack this side on. I don't know if it matters much, but I'm going to tag it on. Fix your barbecue, baby, just like that. I'm gonna get another grinder to take off some paint on that because it's gonna weld poopy if I don't. It's gonna weld poopy. It's probably a powder coat sort of deal paint what's going on there. So basically, uh, yeah, we'll do this. We'll get the paint knocked off it. So if this works, then you'll know if you can do it. Now I did not look up how to make an oven. I did not look it up. I don't want to confuse myself or try to make something what somebody else has made. I am I'm making what I come up with my own brain and I'm going for it. Doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. I will learn when I'm done. Jolene, give me the idea about the fans. I would never have thought of that. I don't, I'm not sure if I made it. Who knows? After I messed the piece, first piece of glass up, I would have known. Going to have to run a piece front and back.
and I'm going, you know, as quick as I can, as quick as I can to show you, you know, as much as I can in the amount of time we have. I'm just going to mark center on things right for a second so I can center this up. And basically, if, if this works, which I, I feel it will, then I can wheel this thing around and I can have an oven at any time. Anytime I want to make a window or make anything or whatever. Fifty and a half is twenty-five and a quarter. Man, that makes me feel smart. I think it's the same mark, but no, look at that now, would you? Fifty and a quarter on that side, so it's twenty-five and an eighth. Now you would have thought that was square now, wouldn't you? It's not. It's twenty-five and a quarter on this side, twenty or 15 and a half on that side, 15 and a quarter on the back side. You would think that it was, we got six feet going on here. So three feet is my center. Six feet going on here is my center. And, and, and as we're doing this, <laughs> we're doing it such on the fly that um, Joanne said, we got to get this video going. we got to get it going because we can't, we got to get time to load it and, and do all the stuff that she needs to get done. And I was saying, well, I got to, I got to figure out how to build it first. <laughs> but here we go. Aren't we baby, right? On the fly. That's what you call on the fly, baby, isn't it? Right? On the fly. Now, I'm, the window itself is, now see this here now? Look, I can't just go like this. That gives me 14, but I have to go way out here. So... 18 will do it for sure. It's pretty close. So I have to go way up there. I can't, I can't just do the center. I can't measure my box and make it 14. Can't do that. Got to go way up here, the further spot. I'm saying right about here somewhere. We're 16, 17. This is, we're lots, we're 20. I wish I was 20 again. To be honest with you, I do not. I do not wish I was 20 again. Made so many mistakes. But uh, that's how you learn. That's how you learn. I'm going to weld this on. How about I do? I'm going to weld it in the center first. Weld it in the center first. And then I can move it. Right? You agree with that, do you not? I hope you do, because I can. I'm just going to tack this thing together for now, and the reason being is because might have to cut it back apart. Might have to. Not sure yet. Pull this thing over here a little bit. Yeah. There you go, the welder on this side. And also, I'm, I'm I was trying to figure out how to build it as cheap as possible. I mean, I don't want to spend a million dollars on, on making a, you know, something to heat up a piece of glass. I really do not, I do not. Lined up there. Zapping her together as quick as possible. Just for me and you. And I'll have to go over it. Most certainly will. I'll have to go over it. Now. The stuff can get cut off. That can be taken off. That's no problem. That's no problem. I might put some kind of, who knows, who knows? Um, what I think I want to do, this is what I'm going to do to make it fit better. I'm going to cut the corners out on this thing. It'll only take me, I'll just make it half decent. That there. 
that in there. Oh, sorry. Cut this off first. Got to cut it off the length first. Oh, where's my tri power thing at? Give me some tri power going on here, man. Give me some tri power. I have to thank whoever bought this. Thank you very much. If I went back in the t film or tape, I would know. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I gotta plug it both in. Jolene's over there laughing at me. And I can't say as I blame her. Spark up the nose is always good. Helmet down, man. The helmet down. That's how Jolene gets the shots. Close. Well done in there. Getting a little close there, sweetheart. <laughs> I got a little tiny burr inside that. I don't want that there because the plywood won't sit in there nice. Grr. I can get it out. Nope. Gonna have to do that later. I got a little piece of weld there poking out and I didn't want that but it happened going to the other side I must leave this helmet on because I'm going for it leave the helmet on because I'm going for it exact same thing on this side just cutting the corners out so I can make this come up flush that's all I'm doing you know so it's the corners come out so I can come up flush One line on one side is my cut mark, and the other mark is the, the cut I have to cut the corner to bring it up so it's flush. So I'm hoping, this is what I'm thinking, that my plywood is going to come in here. You have to ask yourself, would your would your would your wife let you cut your barbecue up? 
me and Jolene are on the same team, so. And if we, you know, if it does, we can have a lot of big barbecue. Cook more hamburgers, more hot dogs, can't we, baby? Huh? We'll double size it. What I'm thinking is, you know, we get this bad boy to work. I will have made this probably cheaper than what I could have went somewhere and used the rub and had it done. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Sounds good to me. Building the strength up right now. Building the strength of it up. It's going to have to be closed off fairly decent. Not sure what's going to hold the heat the best. You know, am I going to have to? I'm thinking about I'm plywooding it. Probably plywood it. And maybe I'll have to insulate the outside of the plywood. I don't know. But it would be nice to be able to keep the heat in there so things stay at a certain temperature. All righty. So, I need a certain distance, how high that's going to be, like this or whatever. That's what I gotta do. I'm just gonna go in here for a second. I'm gonna throw my hat at. I'm just gonna go inside the car and figure out a height that I want. You know, I got to the window's got to be up quite a ways because it's going to. I'm going to have to. What I'll what, what I'll do with this thing I have here is I'll weld legs on it so it will sit flat up inside this thing. So there's going to have to I'll have to weld a couple legs with a square stock. We got it in here now, and I'm thinking that. There's ten inches there. So, I'm thinking we should be fine with 12 inches. I'm thinking we should be fine. I think we should be fine with 12 inches. I'm just going to lay something across here for, some, for a second. Just gonna go. Just, I'm just gonna guess. I, I'll do a lot of guessing. I know, but it's some fun. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna lay this on here. Basically, what I'm doing is, is I want the same height here as over there. That don't look bad. It's close. You know what I'm trying to say? I want the same distance from there. So, a foot would be fine. See what I'm doing here? Laying that across there like that. I got a distance here going. I got a distance over there going. And I'm measuring, I'm trying to find the furthest distance. I, I think 11, 11 and a half, 12. So what I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to make it, see 12 inches would be fine. I'm gonna go 16 inches. That way there I can, It'll lay down 16 inches because it'll give me a little bit more in case I want to do something else. 16 inches, so I'm going to cut some of this stuff 16 inches long. <laughs> My marker, I left. I know I left it right here. Got the pets plexiglass. Come take a look. Got the pets plexiglass over here. This is, this is the window. And this is the deal. This is what I'm thinking. This is one thing, I'm not sure, there's two ways that you can do it. I can try to form, form the window without 
the plastic without the, the wrap, or it'd be nicer, I, or I think it would be, it would be nicer for me to cut the square piece of plexiglass that I need. I'm gonna cut this a square piece, not just enough to do whatever I have to do. I'm, I might put the, the wrap on, the clear wrap on, the vinyl wrap on, before I heat it and mold it, and maybe that wrap will be on it and really adhere to it and really, really, really good if I did it that way and did both sides. It would be easier to put the wrap on a flat piece of plexiglass than it would be to make the window and then try to put it on. So I'm up in the air about that. I haven't got the plastic wrap yet. We're going to send for that probably. Or, or maybe we'll go to our local store that sells pinstriping and get some. Uh, it's fairly expensive, but I was told it works well. It, it really works well. Like it's something that um, it's made to protect your car from getting scratched, keyed, or anything like that. So that's, that's where I'm at. I'm going to do the oven first. And then I'll, I'll maybe ask uh, his opinion on what's going on. I know when they put that, that clear vinyl wrap on your car, I see them using heat guns. Not sure if they're going up to 250 or not. And I'm really not sure what, what 250, uh, 250 degrees is going to feel like. I have no idea yet. Do it like this. So it's going to be more than 16, obviously, because I'm going to sit on top of that. So it's going to be three quarter of an inch taller. That's fine. That's fine. One, two, three. I need one more. What went on there? How did I do that? Oh, okay. I cut the other one up for the ends. I was going to I was going to do it with square stock and I said, "Well, why would I do it with square stock? Twice as much money. The stuff is 7 or 8 dollars a, a length and the square stock was 20 dollars a length." Just that I use a lot of square stock and uh, that's where my mind went first with square stock. But we have this, we're going to use her. going to stand them up. I'm going to put one spot on them so I can move them around a little bit because I don't know if they're going to be plumbed up or not yet. I'll wait till I put the top pieces on and plumb them as I go. Plywood can go down in there. One spot will do for now. Should have grabbed the other one, but I didn't. Anybody need a window? <laughs> There's probably all kinds of people that need a window. Well, let's see if I can make them. See what happens. Necessity is the mother of creations.
is it not? All right, I don't know if I got that there. Gonna do all right or not? Bend that. All right, it's all right. All righty. Let's do that again. I want a, I'm gonna measure the inside of that because I'm gonna put that on the inside of that. Yes, I am. So, measuring tape. Not just gonna cut it six foot this time. I'm gonna measure from in here. My baby's gonna hold that for me. 70 and three quarter. I'll cut one and then do one. 70 and three quarter. Check that again to make sure. Don't want to waste any material. Everything's taken off on me. I'll just tack one in and then go to the other end and make it work. The reason I measured it at the bottom, because that should be a true read on the bottom. And then I make the top do the same thing. 70 and 70 and three quarter. Wow. Man. for a second. Oh, don't chuck it too far. When you're cutting something, Hold this piece, let the piece you're cutting, let it fall off. If not, it'll jam up on you. Learned that many times, cutting wood. <laughs> many times. Twenty and three eighths. I've never had something make me want to eat so bad in all my life. It's building one of these. Huh? All I can think of is hamburger and hot dogs. <laughs> Hamburgers and hot dogs. Hamburger 
burgers and hot dogs. And we gotta admit, it's gonna be nice to be able to have something like this and have wheels on it. I can push it anywhere, take it outside, leave it outside, do whatever I please. You know, I can move it at any time. I can wall that up any time. I'm just gonna go measure another one. Just making a large fish tank is what I'm doing. Just making a large fish tank. I might have to cut that corner out there so that'll slide down in there, but... Hmm. No. Okay, I get it. I understand what I'm doing now. One and a half. Or 20 and a half on that one. An eighth difference. Just looking, seeing how I'm gonna how I'm gonna close this in. I guess I put this one this way, so the ply we can lay down. Yeah, lay down on that. Have to bend that down there a little bit. That one. So the ply was gonna lay in there, but I'll have to put this piece in first. To come up here and put this piece. No, I know how to put it in first, but I put that piece in to come up into here, and then the piece of flat plywood can lay on the top. So basically, I'm just gonna cover everything in. Yeah, talking it over my own brain, talking it over my own brain to see if I'm going right. Talking it over my own brain. You could tell I went for that one. I didn't even, didn't even bother. Did it weld itself, or what's going on here? It must have. Gee. It probably it did weld itself, I think. Man. Just wanted to make it fit right. That's all. Awesome. Get it all tacked together. I think what I want to do is I want to put a piece of metal in there. I'll put a piece of metal in there, finish that off. Don't have to put a piece of plywood in for there. Put a piece of metal in there. Let's make a little measurement and see what's going on. 21 and a half. 21 and a half by by 11, 21 and a half by 11. Twenty-one and a half by 11. Let's keep that in our brain. 21 and a half by 11. I'm going to cut all this off. All right. 21 that way. 21 and a half. By 11. By 11. That 
seen crooked or no nope, just that piece is cut crooked I think I might. That's probably about the f fastest fish aquarium I ever made. What? Never made a fish aquarium before, but looks like what's going on. Doesn't it? Let's do it. More tinsel. More tinsel. A little crooked there, but it's okay. I want to see if it fits this side. Good, so I can make another one. to make another one shouldn't I by doing that instead of me measuring it and... Watch for... oh. Just cut that beyond this time so I don't get messed up in my tinsel. Easy, he'll say go easy. All right, I'm gonna grind, grind that back a little bit on there with the flapper wheel. I'll make a mark so I know where it's at, just so I know where to grind. Sometimes, it, well, take it off, we'd know where to grind, would you? I'm thinking it's right on the edge, but, and it is. I'm not sure what temperature things have to be for powder coating. I'm not sure. I hadn't looked at it. I know that we got a gift from uh, ceramic coating or is it ceramic? What's it called? Ceracote. Ceracote. Yeah, they give us some stuff to try. I'm not sure what the temperature is supposed to be on that. But uh, as, as I'm doing this, I might be able to try to get it up to temperature to try it, you know. Gonna tack it down here. Come on, right. I want to clamp that down tighter. There, I do. Hammer, I guess. I'm gonna get a hammer. I just want to knock it down tight. What a beautiful day it is here. Really wanting to get some stuff done outside. Really wanting to get some stuff done, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Beautiful. Don't 
Don't want to turn that cord up too much. It don't don't it don't do it any good. Alrighty. Now I'll tack this metal on from the bottom and keep that down tight. So basically, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I have. This is all I need to do right at the present moment, I'm thinking, um, to, get, to get it started. I have to do a little bit more welding, but tighten it up a little bit. Tighten her up a little bit. But I'm thinking I'm going to put plywood in here. I got this kind of turned up for, I mean... Yeah, the top will sit in here nice now, but where I've got it like this, the plywood's going to sit here and come in here. I'll have to probably maybe screw it or drill it or screw it uh, this down tight on top on the plywood. I left this piece here for the like this angle here so I can put my just lay my top on. Nice long piece of plywood with a, maybe a couple handles on it. I just put the top on. This piece, I can just put a piece of plywood in here. Just got a nice angle here. Put that piece in. Yeah, I might. Yeah, there's a few places that I'm going to have to see it. Once I lay my plywood in here, or on here, yeah, it should be fine. Like, this is, I got the top going right. I got the, the size right. The window's going to fit in there. Like I said, I'll have to put a, that'll be the window. I'll have to put a couple lags on that buck. So the buck sits up like this, so the, the plexiglass can drape mold. We've got quarter inch plexiglass like a, like a normal windshield would have. I'm going to have to put, or I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put a couple fans in there somehow. And what I'm thinking is, I'm not sure if it'll work or not. I'm not sure, I don't know. Uh, the fans that you can put on top of your stove, so when the heat comes, the fans turn. Not sure if that'll work or not, but I'm, I know I only got three burners here, and I want that heat displaced in the whole thing at one temperature. <clears throat> this will be a hole cut in the piece of plywood that's on the top. Then I'll know the temperature, what it's at. And like I said, it was, I'm going to go 250 for two hours, and that's why I understand that. Oh, Fina's asking me to come in, so I'm going to let her in. So basically, I got to run to the run to our local hardware store, get some plywood, case it in, make it tight, make it tight and right, make it tight and right, and then I'll go from there. I'll end up turning it on, see if I can get a temperature to stay at that temperature, and I'll have to do what I ever, whatever I got to do to make it stay there and be conventional. Like I want the heat displaced all the way through with the three burners. So I'm gonna cut the, I can cut this off. I'm gonna take this off here to see what it looks like. Cut that off. I'm just gonna cut that off. It's just as easy as anything. Instead of taking the bolts out and taking my time, why would I bother? Unless, do you want your barbecue back? I don't want the bottom to fall out of it. That's my bottom. I think that probably should be out of there just because the heat would disperse better and instead of coming up, you know what I mean? Coming up there and this holding the heat back, I'm thinking that you'd want the heat. That's what I'm thinking.
Mm, take that. I see something here I want to do. I don't want that to fall down in there, so I'm going to tack that. That's why I was nervous. Uh. That's got to be tacked in there. Or that'll fall. So I'm just going to tack it in the back. So it can't fall. Ouch. Got me. It got me. That's the tray, and when I undid that, the tray was going to fall. So I can just tack that back together. That's not going nowhere. Get another zip cut, cut off the other side. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Huh? Maybe it can be a tannin bed. Oh, tan is a lot different than getting burned, isn't it? Huh? It's a lot different than getting burned. Huh. Yeah. that on there so it don't fall. Trying to clean it up some. Just trying to clean her up some. Have that cleaned off there. It'd be nicer. Look better. It'd look better. <laughs> the back side, cut that off. That on the back side so it don't fall down. Get the 
heat going on in off here. Can't imagine the heat going on, can you? Just turned off a little bit. Stop it. Stop it. Right back, pair of channel locks. Instead of burning my fingers, not much sense. I got my fingers crossed that this works. I got my fingers crossed. I know what it'll mean to me if it works. It'll mean a lot. Beautiful, I say. Beautiful. You are, Joanne. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to cut the rest of that off and make that look good. I can cut this off too. Just got to keep it above that. Let's cut this off. It's not going anywhere, man. Spark in the eye. Cut that little bit off there, and then I'm going to say we're we're good. I'm going to say we're good. There's spark in the eye somehow. I have my glasses on too. You've seen it for yourself. You've seen it. I have my glasses on. Jolene's got her glasses on. Da, 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 da. Let's cut this off.
Get off. Get off, get off. Stop it. Weld my Weld my pliers. That ain't hurting them. Come on. Be good. Alrighty. All right, that's what I'm going to say is the beginning. I smell hamburgers. You smell hamburgers? All righty. There's what we have. Let's, let's turn this on and see if it works. Turn it on, man. See if it works. Now that's a fire. That's basically what we got going on. So there's our heat. We're going to enclose it. We're going to have to have a fan, maybe a fan at this end, a little fan at this end, and a little fan at that end, not to put the fire out, but to disperse the heat. Let's give away a hat or a shirt, because I'm feeling good. That's good. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Alrighty, here we go. So that's what I'm thinking. And if I sink or if I fail, I'll just come back in and, and try, you know, do something a little bit different, you know. But I'm thinking that we're going to be fine. I got a little bit of welding to go around the corners. I'll clean them up a little bit, weld the corners up a little bit better so nothing goes on. I'm going to have figure, I'm going to have to figure out a few things. Just I don't want the open flame just coming up. I would want some kind of something there. Maybe I can put the the grate set a head back on it, you know. <laughs> I think I made them before. I cut them up with a plasma cutter. Well, I think I cut them, made them before. They were burnt out and I needed some grate. So I, maybe I can put these back on. Who knows? Um, but those can go back on. Maybe just disperse the heat. I'm not sure. But there we go. There's where we're at. And uh, it seems to be, seems to be all right. Um, I don't know. Just gonna have to get some plywood now. Uh, let's give away a hat or shirt. Gonna make a window, man. Gonna make a window. Gonna have to build a little little stand for that for the window, so it sits up in there nice. Gonna lay that in there, and hopefully, when it comes time, uh, when it comes time for the two hours, I pull that bad boy off. I'm gonna have a brand new window for Elvis. The back window we've dealt with, uh, we're just flying along on it as quick as we can. Let's go get a hat of shirt. I said it too many times. Let's do it. Temperature gauge right there. Do the exact same thing as, as, a, as, a, as the barbecue would have originally. Haven't put my toy away yet. I do that sometimes, not put my toys away. How you doing, Fina? You're a great doggy.
You're a great doggy. I want to thank everybody for watching and staying with us. Um, yeah. Building an oven. All right. You, you have to think about that. I think I got, I think that metal that I used, I used one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. So five pieces at, we'll say $10. So we're at $50. The barbecue was used and abused. We're not going to use it this winter and it'll probably be done with probably after the winter went through it. How many comments we have? 553 comments. Man, we're, we're doing good. The comments have been coming in. Everything's going great. Um, we have to thank the, the YouTubers and the Facebookers. Jolene's going to try to find a way how she's going to be able to give a hat or a t-shirt away to the Facebookers also, are you not? Yeah, because we appreciate them just as much. Mike Pfeiffer? Mike Pfeiffer. I am totally loving the look of the car. Well, thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. I, I like the look of it, too. Basically, the look of the car um, was dictated by the stuff that I had. The bumper was left over from a 60 Chrysler. The Dagmars were left off a bumper that uh, another car that I had, had done. Uh, the grill come from a junkyard I was walking through. I liked it. Uh, you obviously seen the back window it come from the junk air because I didn't have a back window. The side windows were built with square stock because I didn't have any glass or winder uppers. Um, it's basically built from the stuff I had and I'm very happy with it too. And anybody can do the exact same thing I'm doing. Anybody can do the exact same thing I'm doing and it's so much fun to do it your way. All right, Mike, you, you want a hat or a shirt of your choice. You message Jolene and let her know that you've won. And we'll get it sent out to you, but have a good one. It's Saturday. Check you later. We'll see you tomorrow.